David Menzies for the Rebel News here in Richmond Hill, Ontario. In fact, I'm in the riding, the federal riding of Richmond Hill, which is currently held by Masjid Johari. Now, folks, a few days ago, an incredible thing happened. Constituents in this riding received an email that was signed off by four prominent liberals saying they cannot support Mr. Johari. Uh, the four Liberals in question were Riza Moridi, who's a former uh, Liberal MPP. There was Byron Wilfrit, a former Liberal Richmond Hill MP. Sarkis Asadurian, a former Liberal MP for Brampton Centre. And Richard Rupp, a former president of the Richmond Hill Federal Liberal Association. Now, there was no specific reason given why they're not supporting Mr. Johari. But it's no mystery. Mr. Johari, for some inexplicable reason, has a lot of love in his heart for the regime in Tehran, something that has really shocked and horrified many of the Persian residents of Richmond Hill. In fact, you may recall that back in June, I had a chance encounter with Mr. Johari to ask him about his tweets supporting this regime that is rife with human rights abuses and supports terrorist organizations. Here, check out what he had to say. How are you doing, sir? David Menzies, how are you doing there? Thank Listen, you. Um, are, you, are you taping something? I am indeed. I want uh, to ask please, you, please stop why that. did you support the Iranian regime in a I recent I did not tweet? support the Iranian regime. These are fake news. It's fake news? Don't you have any, well, the Iranian... Do you have any proof? Do you have any proof, sir? Yes, your own tweet, you sir. Any, so no, my tweet is... What is your opinion of Iran? What is your opinion of the regime in that is something that we could discuss later. Oh, why not with the right now? Do you know it's one of the largest state sponsors of terrorism in the world? Would you agree with that, sir? There are terrorism going in there. This is yeah. So do you, do you, do you support the the regime? Then, Absolutely sir? not. Oh, then why did you tweet congratulations? Because, because to I'm it. not tweeting congratulations, and you're faking your news. No, I'm not faking no, my yes, news. Yes, you are. You are. You don't have any fact. You haven't had any facts. I haven't had any facts in four local... years, and you're harassing me, and I don't appreciate. I'm it. not harassing yes, you, sir. I'm in a public you're place. Asking you are in a public place, and I told you I do not support the and I do not support the regime. I do not support the advocate for them, and you're accusing me of that. And if you put that in formal writing, then we can have a discussion later on. Okay. Then Thank you very much. Why is the local day. Richmond Hill Persian community that so I can't upset? Do. Why don't you go ask them? Wow, isn't that incredible, folks? Mr. Johari actually claimed that tweets written by him were fake news. Incredible. Well, as the days go tick down to the uh, federal election on Monday, October 21st, I'm going to continue to f see if I can encounter Mr. Johari one on one and get clarification about this lack of support. And you know, the question arises, doesn't it? If diehard liberals won't support this liberal candidate, then really, who would? For the Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, if you like the kind of journalism we're doing here at Rebel News, please visit campaign2019.com. And if you can, please chip in a buck or two so we can continue to bring you this kind of reporting that you're not getting anywhere else.